I feel that there is something about the combination of lettuce, croutons, tofu and tangy yogurt dressing that is just so addictive and tempting. I love salads with greens, especially lettuce, and my favorite is Caesar salad. For the tofu and croutons in the oven, I make a very basic sauce and drizzle it over them. I bake them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes, until the tofu is golden and the croutons are browned. Usually I use yogurt for the dressing, but I had some leftover white beans, so I decided to use them instead. The main flavors are Dijon mustard, tahini and lemon. They make the salad refreshing. A dressing is important for any salad, but here it dictates everything. I blend the dressing ingredients until completely smooth. Although this salad doesn't have any vegetables other than lettuce and red onion, it has many ingredients that make it healthy, such as walnuts, goji berries, capers. Well, I'm not sure about capers, but there is nutritional yeast and tofu, of course. So it's a salad that has a lot more to offer. I can sum up by saying that the combination of white beans instead of yogurt in the dressing didn't let me down at all and actually it's a very nice substitute. And they contain more protein. Anyway, both versions are included in the recipe below. A perfect salad for hot summer days. Next up is orange tofu, one of the dishes I must eat at least once a month in the summer because it's so much fun and flavorful, it always cheers me up. I coat the tofu with cornstarch and chickpea flour, so the sauce sticks well and gives it its glaze, then I bake it for 25 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, I prepare the rice to go with it. I need something on the side to balance the sourness of the tofu because I love it super tangy and vitamin C boosted. For this dish, you'll need a few oranges and it depends on how much you love tanginess. In the ingredients below, you'll see I recommend between 200 to 400 milliliters orange juice and honestly 400 is really for sour addicts in addition to tofu i love to put mushrooms i use shimeji and champignon mushrooms i add a chopped half red pepper a green onion stock using the white part instead of regular onion and the green part to garnish along with the orange juice i make a savory and slightly sweet sauce I start by frying the onion on medium-high heat and add the mushrooms and the sauce, red pepper and cashew pieces. I reduce the sauce a bit and add the baked tofu. After frying and leaving small amount of sauce in the pan, I add the orange juice. Yes, it's a lot of orange juice and it looks crazy. I fry it like this for about 5 minutes, if it bubbles that's completely fine, if it seems too much just lower the heat. It just looks amazing, doesn't it?
I garnish with green onion and sesame seeds. Looks crazy. Whether you eat this sandwich alone at home, at the beach with friends or by the lake with your loved one, you'll enjoy every bite, I promise you that. I cut the vegetables to medium size, you can do it this way, I prefer it that way. I add them to a bowl and make a umami rich flavor sauce for them to bake it in the oven with. I cut tofu slices thin about 1 cm thick. Place on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and brush the tofu with the sauce on one side then flip and brush the other side. I add the remaining sauce to the bowl with the vegetables, shake until they are covered in sauce. Add them to the tray with the tofu, make sure to leave enough space for two bread slices. Place in a 200 degree Celsius for 8 to 10 minutes. I chose flat bread, which I saw in the supermarket today and decided that's the recipe I'll film, so you could say it was my muse. On the top side of the bread I spread smooth Dijon mustard and place the cheese slices. I take out the tray, flip each tofu slice and stir the vegetables. Add the two bread slices and bake for an additional 5 minutes. On the other side I spread vegan mayo, sliced tomatoes and rucola leaves. Here I'd recommend maybe putting the vegetables first and then the tofu. It's tasty either way, just less sloppy that way. These were three easy, basic and especially summery tofu recipes. I really hope you liked them. If you did, please let me know. I'm happy to share my content and ideas with you. Don't forget to check out my last week's tofu video if you like this one. See you in the next video. Love you all.